Hello everybody, I'm here to show you an unboxing of the Fountain Tarot. Now, confession, I got this a while ago, but it's in pretty good condition and I've uh, had some experience in working with it. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. So it comes in this really cool little box, it's magnetized. So I love that. And you open it up and there's the little black book. So it's pretty tiny. I did find that this didn't really help me um, with connecting with a deck, but I think that's probably just me. I'm used to like detailed artwork and this is very kind of like soft and deep. Um, but I'll just give you a quick flick through. So there's no real photos of that like illustrations of the actual cards it's just like in order it's quite easy to flick through but it's yeah very brief so for example you know that's kind of the extent we're talking about so you definitely have to have some kind of not prior knowledge to the right of weight uh traditional uh meanings before you get the fountain and i think that's one reason why i just got it too early and even now like i it's it's a deck that i'm kind of working on you know kind of connecting a little bit more with so these aren't going to be in any order yeah okay i'm going to stop shuffling sorry let's start let's go so i can imagine that these would be quite good to meditate with if you're into kind of like connecting with a certain um, archetype but yeah you can see that um, some of the minor um, arcana I find it quite hard to figure out what it means because I'm very used to the literal right weight illustrations and these are very vague, like quite, they can be quite vague. And unless you kind of really deeply look into it for like a while, it's quite hard to understand what it's trying to communicate to you. And I also do feel, these are just personal too, that it's harder to read them as a group with this deck because they're all so individual. There's no real... Um, there's a, there's a really lack of uh, characters as such that speak to each other. They're all doing their own thing in a manner of speaking. It's all very individual. But yeah, these work very well with Oracle, Oracle decks. I think just because of the kind of abstract art on it as well. I mean, that one, I can kind of read that quite easily because it's very similar to the uh, right away hermit. Where like, can resonate with the hermit very strongly. I'm sure we all do at one point. Yeah, it's definitely a good investment if you are committed to, or if you're an, if you're quite advanced tarot card reader, I'm sure you if you love your illustrations, you'll definitely enjoy this deck. If you're a beginner, um, but you know that you'll be working with tarot for the rest of your life and you're very committed, you know, I, I would I wouldn't say stay away from it. It could be like a deck definitely work up to like me like I consider myself a beginner I've been doing tarot for a couple of years um, and although I don't use it too much it's it's nice to have there just as a bit of a challenge I guess um, and also quick note we haven't come up to it yet but there's an extra card in this deck it's called the fountain and I find that incredible um, the meaning behind that I won't spoil it for you you can uh, 
if you get it you'll you'll see in the book what it means but it's uh it's quite incredible i usually resonate with this card but for this deck it kind of scares me <laughs> The palette in this is really amazing too. Sorry. It'd be a good deck to also use as your daily card because then you know you can spend some time really journaling on it. I find sometimes if I just want a quick read, um, I, this is quite challenging for me to use this deck. I usually just use my right away. That's probably one of my favourite. Again, Ace of Cups seems to be my favourite in like most of my decks <laughs> at the moment. So it's beautiful. Magician. Know what's going to come next? I do like the full card too, it's beautiful. The Empress. Okay, lie, we must have actually gone through the fountain. I wonder if I can find it. Must have been paying attention. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, the review or unboxing of this uh, deck. And um, check out some of my other unboxing videos. And uh, see you later.